politicians. Nobody likes politicians. But there is one politician that I love. He is my favorite politician in the world, and you should know him. Right now, he's not a president. He's not a prime minister. Unfortunately, he is dead. He was the founder of a country, and in 50 years, he made that country go from poor to rich. This is the incredible story of Lee Kuan Yew from Singapore. This is my country. This is my life. This is my people. Lee Kuan Yew was the first prime minister of Singapore. He had this job for 31 years and he was famous for being strict. Whoever governs Singapore must have that iron in him or give it up. This is not a game of cards. This is your life and mine. So why is he my favorite politician? Because he doesn't try to please people. He does what he believes is right. Take corruption, for example. He knew corruption could kill a country. In the rest of the world, politicians are paid so little and have so much power. So what do they do? They become corrupt and they steal money to make themselves rich. And that's why Lee Kuan Yew did the opposite. He legally paid Singapore politicians the highest salaries in the world, $1 million a year. This way, he can hire the best people in the country and make sure they help the country, not steal from it. Be realistic, get honest men, Pay them adequately as near market rates what they are earning as possible. That's why Singapore is the least corrupt country in Asia. Most people do not agree with this radical idea. We should not pay politicians a million dollars. But you know what? Lee Kuan Yew did it and he was right. He was also right about diversity. I say we gotta work with each other. No group can oppress the other. We work together. He knew that diversity can cause problems. In places like London, black people live here, white people live here, and Muslim people live here. This segregation is why we have racism, hate, and social unrest. So Lee Kuan Yew had another idea. Force people of different backgrounds to live next to each other. In Singapore, every government housing by law has to have up to 10% Indians or 84% Chinese. Chinese or 22% Malay. Malay. This way, people are forced to become neighbors, become friends, become human to each other. Your neighbors are Chinese, Indians or Malays and your children have got to know them, go up and down the same lifts, go to the same schools. So it's a level playing field for everyone. No other country would do this. Making houses based on race? Very unpopular. But Lee Kuan Yew did it. And you know what? It worked. Now, Singapore is one of the most stable countries in the world. And the next thing he did was about traffic. In the rest of the world, everyone is stuck in traffic for hours every day. And politicians do nothing to fix it. But Lee Kuan Yew did something. He built a good metro system around the country. But then he put a hard limit on the number of cars in the country. They cannot have more than 1 million cars in Singapore. So for every car that comes on the road, one car has to get off the road. Less cars, less traffic. Which politician can do that? Well, he did. I ignore polling as a method of government. I think that shows a certain weakness of mind. So whichever way the wind blows, whichever way 
the media encourages the people to go, you follow. You're not a leader. Don't get me wrong. Singapore is not perfect. I live here. Singapore still has some corruption. It has some traffic, some unhappy people, and some laws are too strict. Even for me, it's not a utopia. But Lee Kuan Yew, as a politician, did something special. I spent a whole lifetime building this. And as long as I'm in charge, nobody's going to knock it down. He taught us that it's better to be right than popular. It's better to do what's hard than what's easy. It's better to lead than follow. And even for my sick bed, even if you are going to lower me into the grave and I feel that something is going wrong, I'll get up. Politician became a dirty word because most politicians do not have the courage to do what's hard. All it takes to change a nation is one leader with vision and courage. The government can give you that framework, but the people must have their will.